Well, hello and good day. Hope that this video is finding you in good health and in good spirits. Gotta admit, I'm having a bit of a rough day. And I, my problem is I'm really upset about some of the political nonsense that has come out of the American GOP in the past 48 hours. I was just like, I'm still seething over J.D. Vance admitting on national television in an interview from, with CNN with Donna Bosch about how they have been making up these lies about Haitian immigrants for the purpose of media attention in order for them to be able to dominate the news cycle. And this, of course, is amplified by Donald Trump. And worse yet, worse yet than the lies that we see at the top of the ticket, which I think we're getting used to, the 52% of Trump supporters, GOP voters, are willing to accept these lies. And they are so easily disproven and have been disproven, first of all, most of the Haitian immigrants in the United States, in Springfield, Ohio, are there legally. They were invited to come to Springfield to work. Yet, for their efforts to build the economy of Springfield, Ohio, they have been subjected to a terror campaign. And they've been subjected to the terror campaign by Donald Trump and J.D. Vance and the rest of their ilk. I said, I am just like, I'm gobsmacked. I am really, I, I'm to the point where I can hardly find the words to express my outrage. But just let's talk about it for a minute because terrorism, that's a pretty heavy word. And I don't throw it around lightly, but let's just take a quick moment and discuss what terrorism is. Now I take this from, I'm um, being a Canadian, I take the definition of terrorism from section 83.01, the Criminal Code of Canada. Terrorism is defined as an act committed in whole or in part for a political, religious, or ideological purpose, objective, or cause with the intention of intimidating the public with regard to its security, including its economic security. And of course, the definition goes on because, you know, it's a legal definition and, you know, I get to meet a lawyer who will use one word when 17 will do. Let's talk about this. There's a group of people in Springfield, Ohio, and I'm sure has spreading out this idea about immigrants and migrants. But in Springfield, Ohio, Haitian people who were invited there have been accused of stealing people's pets and eating them. Basically, you know, that kind of, actually Ted Cruz kind of hinted that they were involved with cannibalism because there you have it. J.D. Vance knows better. Donald Trump, I suspect, knows better, although given his cognitive decline, I'm not sure he knows which way the wind is blowing most days. And all of this is to capture the media cycle and the news cycle and to make sure that everybody is talking about them. And to hell with the people who have to keep the kids home from school because they're afraid and hell with the number of people that had to deal with bomb threats in public buildings and to hell with the people in the hospital that had to get shut down because they had to deal with, again, a terrorist threats of, you know, bombings, violence, whatnot. The local university campus has closed a lot of classes. Everything is going to be online because they're afraid of this kind of political violence. And it just continues. And it metastasizes. And the worst part, the worst part of it all, 
it's not just that it's at the top of the ticket, it's that GOP voters are willing to back it. You have a whole bunch of people who are very prominent in the Republican Party and have been for dang silent, not saying anything, right? They're willing to let it go because it might gin up the base and they might get an extra five votes out of it. Who cares about the children that are afraid to go to school? That's not important. What's important is can they take control? Can they rule? Because they have no intention of representing anybody. Now I have put a couple of links in the show notes below. One is from the Washington Post which has got a lot of information about some of the lies that the GOP has put out that GOP voters are willing to suck along with. Very interesting. But the problem with Washington Post, as much as I like the paper, it's behind a paywall. So not everybody's going to be able to get it. I also have a link in there from the Guardian newspaper in England that I included because the Guardian does not operate under from behind a paywall. It's one of the reasons why I subscribe to the paper because I want to support that kind of journalism which allows people to access quality information on their own, right? Because if all the quality information is behind paywalls, people that don't have access to that kind of money can't get it. And doesn't matter how poor you are, you can still get The Guardian. If you don't have a computer, you can go to your local library and usually sign on for it. So that's why I choose links from The Guardian for this. Yeah, I know. It's a heavy charge about terrorism. And it's not a word I use lightly. But I really am wondering like what is going to happen here because it is this wholesale acceptance of political violence at all levels that just makes my blood run cold and I'm telling you I'm scared that's why I'm so angry it's because I am afraid of what is going to happen to America so in keeping with the spooky season we pulled out the jack-o'-lantern tarot by Juliana Costa Again, in the show notes, I always include the deck information for those of you who are collectors like I am. So it'll be there. And if I can just take a moment to ask you, if you like this kind of content, would you please subscribe, like the video, and you know share it if you want to. And by all means, throw it in the comment section because, and I expect, I expect the people to pile on because yeah, I'm not, I'm not particularly sane on this conversation right now. I have tried all day. I have spent all the time on a meditation cushion trying to get my sense of outrage under control. And I don't know how successful I've been, but let's give it a go, shall we? Signifier on this reading is the Seven of Wands. Now, Seven of Wands is a card that is about a challenge. Meeting it with conviction and tenacity, right? Americans are in a position where their very way of life is under question right now. And we have one party that for personal gain are trying to destroy the 248 years of 249 years of American well-being in order to satisfy their lust for power. That's the challenge. Question is, is America going to be able to meet this with that level of tenacity and conviction and faith in who they are? Now, this card is crossed by the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, kind of an odd character, but can be very chivalrous known for being loyalty and of course we're seeing this whole idea that 
loyalty to the great leader, loyalty, personal loyalty to Donald Trump. He wants to fire something like 9,000 uh, civil servants and replace them with people who have personal loyalty to him. James Comey, the FBI director, when he first came into office, was fired because he wouldn't make that kind of personal pledge to Donald Trump. The one thing he can always count on with the Nutty Cups is that he's unpredictable. You never know what's coming next out of him. Now, in the past position, we have the Nine of Pentacles. And this is a card about abundance and accomplishment and success and financial like independence and well going and that is America's past. America since really certainly in the post-war period since the end of the second world 1945 it has been American leadership that has provided so much of the prosperity and the peace that Americans have enjoyed right and you can talk about like economic agreements and trade agreements, you know, just world leadership that has done so much to secure peace and security in the, the Western world. And, you know, I mean, America is the de facto leader of NATO. And that has provided like we haven't had another major European war since 1945. Right now we do have one where Russia has invaded Ukraine and the GOP has given every indication that they're perfectly willing to sell out Ukraine and allow Putin to take it and then Poland and Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia and yeah okay but the past of America has been about this kind of accomplishment and success and it's that accomplishment and success that has provided the American people with an unbelievable standard of abundance and refinery and success that Americans have enjoyed for all this time. The last, what is it, 80 years? In the future, we have the my least favorite card in the deck. God, I hate the Six of Cups in a reverse position. This is a card that is about, it's about the past, but it's more than that. It's about naivete. It's about this kind of willingness not to look at reality and instead you close onto this sense of nostalgia and this longing and yearning for a past that never existed. It is trafficking in absolute fantasy instead of dealing with reality and dealing with it. And the GOP, like from top to bottom, this is what they traffic in. And they're glad to, right? This has almost become what the brand is. <sighs> Ronald Reagan this ain't this is isn't the GOP of Ronald Reagan or those before him in the sky the reading the sky the reading is kind of the overarching energy it's kind of the goals the aspirations what we're headed for and we have the two of wands two of wands is about planning and vision and control and you know making progress this is still open for you, America. The door's still open. All you have to do is step through it. Right? It's there. The energy is there for America to continue to progress. And what is holding you back? Right now, it is this cancer that has infected what had part previously been your conservative party. And... Anybody that's watched this channel for more than five minutes knows that I'm a liberal. I am left to center, some days lefter than others, right? But I absolutely expect that there is another point of view, that the conservative point of view 
is taking it down. We need this healthy kind of debate. Keeps from people on my side of the fence from going wackadoodle and making up crazy things. Right now, unfortunately, wackadoodle is owned by the conservatives. And I pray absolutely for a return to a political party in the United States that believes in economic freedom, rule of law, national security, and world leadership. Am I ever going to see it again? I don't know. But I'm praying for it. In the foundation of the reading, this is kind of what's holding things up. We have the Three of Swords. And this is a card that is about heartbreak and sorrow and depression. America, if you don't pull it together, you are going to have issues. And it's going to be issues like you have never even imagined before. You really have to pull it together. Message from Spirit. Holy hell. God, I hate seeing this guy again. Knight of Swords in a reverse position. Knight of Swords in reverse position. He keeps showing up, particularly in readings about Trump. Cards about laziness, which, of course, Donald Trump is. He's too lazy to, to campaign. Inaction. Being restless. Lack of focus, lack of any kind of discipline, right? And it's also the card about the coming storm. That's just your spirit. Like, you're being warned. All I can say, you're being warned from spirit. In the environment. Now, this is kind of the buzz around what's going on, what other people are talking about. We have the Seven of Pentacles. It's a card about patience and perseverance, about steady growth. America can continue in the same vein that it has in, in the post-war period, right? The emphasis on building for the future, investing in your people, investing in your infrastructure, investing in the country, right? So that you're building a future that will come that you'll be able to harvest. This is the plans and the future of America coming to fruition. It's there. And the American people are willing to work. You're hardworking people. You are. But you have got this cancer that has metastasized and it is strangling you. Hopes and fears. Card. Well, I've got a little bit of both here. Four of Wands in a reverse position. And the Four of Wands, when it's in reverse position, is about a transition. It can be good news that you have with it. But the other side of the Four of Wands in a reverse position, kind of the undercurrent of it, it is a card about instability. And here you have one political party and its voters who are working overtime to destabilize the United States of America, to undermine the rule of law, to undermine your faith that you have in your government and your institutions, to undermine your belief in your own country. And the final outcome. After that rant, this makes me feel good. We have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the card of the institutions, right? It's your law, it's military, it's political institutions, it's good. those kinds of things that are working together for the protection and the development. It's the norms, it's the regulations, it's the rule of law, it's the respect, I mean the guardrails of your nation. We have seen from the first Trump presidency and hopefully the last how legal wasn't enough. Because there was all kinds of things done in the Trump presidency that weren't technically illegal, but they certainly busted norms and the expectations that people have. And without that, dare I say, sense of honor and loyalty to the country as opposed to loyalty to a man, loyalty to the Constitution over some orange clown you need to go back to it. You need to go back to it, America. 
And finally, finally, the shadow card that we have here is the lovers. And the lovers card, of course, is always about choices. 49 days from today, you have a choice in the ballot box as to how you want to live. Do you want America to grow and be prosperous and continue and the, you know, have that kind of nine of pentacles energy that you have enjoyed since 1945, actually before, but let's start it there. Or do you want to go to this place where you are being ruled by someone who is trying to gut everything and make it about himself? Right. Foundation of the reading was the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords is about heartbreak and sorrow. Like, it's a clear choice. It really is a clear choice. You can have people that want to grow the country, or you can have people who want to, people who want to diminish the country and make it poorer and more fragile. And <laughs> another card that from the bottom of the deck, right? We have the Three of Cups in a reverse position. Three of Cups in a reverse position. This card about gossip. An overindulgence in gossip and the kind of antisocial aspects of it. You have at the top of the ticket a man who is willing to proclamate lies and advance a terrorist's agenda. And it is put forth by the guy who wants to be the second in command of the of America, who has admitted on film, on a lot of television, that it was done for the purpose of dominating the media cycle. And don't take my word for it. I have I have the receipts in the show notes for you. So I hope I haven't been too rough on anybody and I think people that have watched this channel know I love America you're my neighbors I want the very best for you but right now I'm afraid for you I really am afraid for you and on that note I'm just gonna say I'll talk to you later bye bye for now